son of God. Well, Jerry's just back from Brazil where he had the opportunity to meet with this mystical man and some say miracle worker. Deep in the heart of central Brazil is a small and simple village called Abijanha. It's here where Joao de Jesus, John of God as he's called, does what he's done for more than 50 years, heal the mind, body, and spirit. When I was at the lowest of low points, sick and at home, battling not one, but two different types of cancer. Let the thought of a sunrise at least be symbolic of, of a fresh start. And there it is. A friend contacted the world-famous healer who has a proven track record of miraculously curing people of illnesses with spiritual and, in some cases, physical surgeries. I received an urgent message from Brazil. Come see John of God immediately. We are bringing you stories of some of the most extraordinary phenomena in modern history. We begin with a simple farmer known as John of God. Coincidentally or not, a day later, John of God was featured on a particularly moving episode of Oprah, which I saw from my sickbed. How do you explain it, what you've witnessed there? After seeing these images Oprah showed from the new documentary, Healing, Miracles, Mysteries, and John of God, I knew somehow, some way, I had to make the 6,000-mile trek. And so it begins. Here we go. Andrews, here we go. <laughs> With my friend Jen by my side, manning the flip cam, I made the journey. I'm so excited. Touchdown in Brasilia, we are here. He's here to pick up Jerry Caracoli. But you know what? Close enough. After, what, more than 12 hours of flying, now we are in the car, and we go one hour and a half to Abadanya where John of God is. And finally, we're here, finally, and uh, we're exhausted. Less than a block away behind big blue gates in an ever so humble building simply called the Casa is the man himself, John of God. The people are all going, of course, you can see them dressed in white. And uh, what, what gets to you immediately is seeing that a number of people in wheelchairs who are here who are making their way. And so we make our way to John of God's Casa. That's got to be where people have left their, their braces and walking after the year and walking out of here. I mean, that's, that's astounding. Look at all the crystals. Crystals from underneath this land where the Casa sits, crystals that are thought to give John of God the power to perform his energy healings. But John of God also performs what some consider controversial non-anesthetic surgeries. I just saw, uh, I just saw John of God. See what happens when I come face to face with this powerful force. I was not nervous when he took the knife out. When my journey to John of God continues later on Extra. I love you. It was a journey I'll never forget. While fighting two forms of cancer, melanoma stage 3 and thyroid cancer, and three surgeries last fall, it was Oprah who gave me the push to go. How do you explain it, what you've witnessed there? After seeing the healer, John of God, on her show. The situation that I'm in, I came here open to whatever needed to be done. Here is the remote village of Abajanya, Brazil. There is nothing here. We are in the middle of nowhere. Where the medium known as John of God has been, some say, performing miracles for the past 50 years. Idel Cowan of Mill Valley, California says she's living proof. Last year, she came to see John of God with tumors in her liver. And I came and I asked for healing on my liver. I just had an ultrasound last week, or a CAT scan last week, and there was no evidence of the tumor. It's gone. So it's gone. Adele had a spiritual surgery. Sometimes John of God performs actual physical surgeries without any anesthesia, but causing no pain, as shown in the new documentary, Healing, Miracles, Mysteries, and John of God. I had no idea what to expect when I faced John of God for the first time. You walk in this room, and all of a sudden, there's all these people meditating. I started to feel their, 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 their pain and their, and their suffering. It was just the strangest feeling I've ever had. 
After he physically examines me, John of God speaks to me in Portuguese. There's a translator relaying his words in English. There was a woman standing next to him, and he explained that I must hold her hand because he'll be able to heal me through the surgery that he's doing on her. And she was the, the conduit. A tray of very sharp surgical knives is brought over, and shockingly, he cuts right into the woman's body. Something happened. I know it was intense. I know that I felt the heat of that woman's hand, and it wasn't just the body heat. It was overwhelming. On top of everything, there's this. Amidst all the benches with engraved, very Portuguese names is one with simply Jerry on it. This is, this is a little too much. And in the end... No matter what you believe, it's pretty powerful stuff to witness it for yourself. You feel something when you're sitting in that room. In my mind's eye, during that time, I saw myself as an old man. And maybe it's a hope, maybe it's a dream, but you know what? Whatever it is, I'm holding on to that. And that feels good.